shit, y'all. Uh, too funny, but guess what? I got some news. Hold up. I got some news, y'all. What's the news? Look, Mama's about to be back on the radio. Hey, let's radio. get it. Back on the radio. Uh, 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 on the radio. <laughs> God is good, huh? Mm-hmm. <gasps> let's make a beat. You got a beat, Trey? Yeah. All right, let's get it. Let's get All it. All right. I, I like that. That's good. Okay. Damn. Ah. Okay, Damn. mama. Ah. Inspirational treasure <laughs> on the radio. Okay. Inspirational treasure on the radio. She's on the radio. Ah. She's on the radio. She's on the radio. It's on the radio. I like it. Inspirational treasure what? on the radio. Inspirational treasure on the radio. She's on the radio. She's on the radio. She's on the radio. It's on the radio. Uh oh! <laughs> that was Ooh, awesome. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, clean. Yeah, I'm excited. God that was is doing clean. big things. Mm-hmm. It is inspirational treasure on the radio. Shattered and broken, but sin, sin.
When you're broken Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now for this night. We thank you, oh God, that you are everything that we need and more. Father, we thank you, oh God, that you are uh, are in the midst of us, Father, even now. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this broadcast. We thank you for worship. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you for worship. We thank you for worship. We thank you for worship. Father, we thank you for being your own. Father, we thank you that we flow according to your Holy Spirit, oh God. And on tonight, on this day, Father God, you have required a worship. And so we thank you right now, Father God, that you are using this platform, God. Thank you for the producer. Thank you for Jerry Royce. Thank you, Father, for positive power. Thank you, oh God, for each and every host that mounts this platform, Father, to spread your gospel to the ends of the earth. God, we just thank you, Father, for every corner that we'll reach. In the name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you now. We honor you. We love you. We applaud you, Father, for being majestic. We applaud you for being everything to us, God. We thank you, Father, that even in the midst of the struggle and the storms and in the midst of being broken, God, you are yet there to put us back together again, to make us whole. God, we honor you. We praise you. We magnify you. We glorify you. We lift you up. Hallelujah, Father. We just thank you right now. God, we use this time, oh God, we don't take it for granted. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for the listeners, God. We thank you for the ears that are open to be able to hear a word from you on tonight. And we will not, Father, we will not do anything other than speak that which you have us to speak on tonight. Father, every guest, God, every individual that comes on this line, Father, we speak from your heart and your heart alone. Hallelujah. You're so worthy. You're worthy of all glory and honor and praise. Hallelujah, we glorify you. Glory be to God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for being who you are. We thank you for being loving. We thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Glory to God. So we ask that you speak through our lips, O oh God, that you be exalted. Hallelujah, that your praise in our mouth never fails. God, whatever it is that you want to do on tonight, we welcome you to do so. Hallelujah, we know, God, that even as we pray, even as we speak, even as we go before you, there's somebody that's listening right now that you wanted to hear this very prayer, to hear that very worship, oh God. We know that you wouldn't have us start this way by accident. And so we thank you, God, for the beginning. We thank you, God, for their life. We thank you, God, for the change. We thank you, God, that you are glorified in their life, God, and that there's somebody who's on the brink of giving up. Hallelujah. We declare right now that they will turn their minds, they will turn their hearts back to you tonight, knowing that you are God and that you are a deliverer and that you sent your son, that we will not be lost, God. And we thank you now for your salvation. And we thank you now for your love. And we thank you now, God, that even if they're broken, they will be put back together tonight, 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 tonight. So we give you glory in advance. We praise you in advance. We honor you. In advance, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we do pray and we bless you. 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 We bless you in the name of Jesus. We bless you. We bless you, oh God. Hallelujah. You're magnificent. Thank you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we do pray and bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. 
Man, glory be to the Most High God. I don't know where you are right now. I don't know if you're in your car. I don't know if you're in your house. I don't know if you're in your study, whether you're uh, before God in prayer. I don't know if you paused doing something else to be here to listen to us tonight. I don't know if you're riding in your car and you're listening to this on, on, on the morning drive. I don't know if you're in another place in another country and you're listening to us on Spreaker. I don't know where you are at this very moment, but I know that God doesn't make any mistakes, and I know that if he's coming for just one of you, ah, now I see God. If, if he's coming for just one of you, hallelujah, hallelujah, we pause to do what he requests. Hallelujah. We don't get a platform to just do what we want and to entertain. Though we love those things, we do. We absolutely love giving a platform to others and letting other people's voices be heard. But first and foremost, we pause for whatever it is that he desires to happen this night. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, if you need God tonight, I need you to lift your hands and just tell him thank you. Just tell him hallelujah for a second. Hallelujah. Just believe that he'll meet you right where you are. Oh, glory to your name, oh God. Oh, glory to your name, oh God. Oh, glory to your name, oh God. I'll let your name be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who we just bless his name. We bless his name and we thank, uh, hallelujah, we, we thank uh, Jerry Royce for, for playing that worship uh, by Re. And the song is called Broken. And, 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 and look it up, because I'm telling you, a lot of us are dealing in this situation right now where we feel broken, where we feel jacked up, where we feel messed up, where we feel like our life is taking a turn for the worse. And we feel like no matter what, what comes, it seems like there's always something bigger that's coming right after it. And we feel like we can't swim. We feel like we're sinking. And I promise you that even in the most broken place, even in the place where it feels like everything is at its all-time high and the devil is beating you upside your head and you feel like you cannot see above water. I declare and I decree tonight that you will begin to see the hand of God move in your life if you just believe. If you just believe. If you just believe. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't even think I'm going to pause too long. And y'all know I don't really introduce my guests. I allow them to introduce themselves. But if Pastor Brandy is here, um, it's okay to go ahead and unmute her line so we can bring her on. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Pastor, are you here? Yes, Jesus. ma'am. How are you, my dear? Ah, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed in the Lord. How are you doing tonight? All is well. To God be all the glory. This is the best I've sounded in about three weeks. So he knows who he Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. 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 He does. Before we go any further, um, I, I told the people that I would tell them why I called you Proster. Uh, Brandy, and I'm going to let you introduce yourself in the way that you know how to introduce yourself when it comes to the things of God. But I call this woman of God Proster Brandy because she is indeed a pastor, ordained pastor, but she has shown up as a prophet in my life. She's shown up as a sister. She's shown up um, um, uh, as one that is not afraid to speak the word of the Lord over the people. Um, we we were actually connected uh, through just through uh, the pink pulpit uh, with Apostle Marilyn that you guys heard on here last week, and we we actually connected in our inboxes first, and I was ministering to her. God was speaking life to her at the time, and she was going through her own situation. And then when we finally met face to face. She ended up ministering to me. I mean, literally to the point of, of figuratively pulling knives out of my back because she was seeing in the spirit realm a lot of the things that was going on in my life at the time. And so I, I call her Proster because not only is she ordained, but God has called her a prophet to the nations. And so um, um, that's going to always be my name for her. It may sound strange, but she knows what it means. And I'm only explaining it because I know that it looks strange to um, to the eye. What is a Proster? And so. I have to, um, to to let the people know, but Pastor Brandy, I want you to introduce yourself to the people um, tonight in your in your God way. Amen. Well, first of all, God bless you, my sister, uh, Prophet, and God bless everybody that's on here tonight. Um, I thank God for just my presence on this line this evening for those, um, and you've already heard, my name is Pastor Brandy Rojas. I do serve as pastor with my husband, Pastor Omar Rojas, here in Greensboro, North Carolina. 
Um, I, uh, before even pastoring, um, I, I started out in dance, um, and, and dance turned into warfare dance and turned into prophetic dance and turned into healing worship and so many other things. Um, but God has just been so good, and, and he's been so kind, and he um, has, has brought us through mountains and valleys and uh, just so many amazing things. And at the end of it all, and uh, even at this place in my life, I just give God praise um, that in spite of all the things that have gone on, um, that, that my worship is still there, that uh, my mm-hmm. praise unto God is still there. And uh, as I say it for myself, I can say it for my husband, too, that um, in spite of it all, it's, it's intensified um, our, our life of worship unto God. And so um, we're here again in Greensboro, North Carolina, um, just doing whatever God tells us to do. Um, I do serve as founder of Diamond Fire Global Ministries, as well as the Legacy Ladies Fellowship. Um, I have a, a publishing company, and yes, I still teach dance under the name of Fire Dance Studios. So I'm just honored to be on. I'm excited. Um, we, I know we have some people that are listening and watching live and all that good stuff. So I am just honored to be on here tonight with you. Amen. Amen. And of course, I'm honored to have you here. It's like um, Apostle yeah. Marilyn was here last week with me. And it, and you already know that um, the time allotted is not always um, <laughs> it's not always right. easy for us to fit in a conversation like it's not even easy for us to fit in that kind of conversation when we're live together in chat. But um, I, I I know that God doesn't do anything by accident. I know that your, you know, your voice has been going. I mean, you had a lot to celebrate over the past, uh, over the past few weeks. I've been seeing God do so many things and, you know, as a sister, as a friend um, to watch, you know, to have a mature enough relationship, my God, where you can be watching from behind and celebrating and giving God glory. And we don't have to talk every day because we just know that um, we're watching. We're watching. We're watching and we're praying. And so tell us a little bit about um, some of the things that you've just been celebrating. And then I'm going to, we're going to just kind of talk. I'm going to actually let Willette come on after you talk about, um, after you talk about what you've been celebrating. We're going to talk a little mm-hmm. bit about your book and all that, but I'm going to let Willette come on with us um, in a little bit earlier than normal because I just really want us to be able to flow for whatever the Holy Spirit is trying to do because my spirit is, like, leaping right now, and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm you know, trying to conduct the interview, but, you know, we feed off each other. So if yeah. I can feel it, I know you can feel the fire <laughs> of the Lord. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I'm know, how, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, like we, you know, we kind of feed off each other. So I know that, like, while I'm sitting here trying to be contained, and while I, you know, we were going forward in prayer, I just know that, you know, we just know when God is doing the thing. So we're gonna do this however He wants to do this. But I do mm-hmm. want to 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 uh, alert the people to what you are celebrating. You have some past celebrations. You you got some books. You got some upcoming engagements. Let's go ahead and get all that out the way right quick because <laughs> however he ends it. <laughs> yeah. I know he, um, yeah, so. <laughs> well, um, the beginning of, of January, my birthday is January 3rd, so the first thing that happened was I celebrated my 40th birthday. Um, and, and some people may look, right, some people may look and they be like, you know, okay, it's a birthday, so what's so important about that, you know? Um, mm-hmm. But it was my 40th birthday, and in that moment, um, God clearly said to me that um, that he was breaking some cycles and, and some things I was walking around over and over and over again concerning um, that, that he was about to break those things. Um, mm-hmm. that, you know, that he was uh, bringing me into a place where uh, those that he told me to let go of that I did not want to release, that he was going to remove them um, because that's how important where he was taking me was. Um, some people may say, well, you know, it's good to celebrate your birthday, but, you know, how, how can you celebrate God telling you something like that? Um, but the thing with um, with that entire experience um, was, you know, that, that place where even if it hurts, it doesn't hurt as, as long as it used to. And My so in, in that place of God shifting people out and shifting people in and shifting people all around and shifting me around even, um, I, I found myself 
uh, celebrating and thanking God uh, for my birthday um, even the more because I was thanking God for my life. Um, yeah. A few, uh, days before my birthday, um, I was uh, in, in the in, a, in our car and I was sitting still, and a lady actually um, backed into me and, and hit me in the driver's side door. And I got out of the car. Of course, my kids were in the car, so I jumped out of the car, um, checking on them, looking at the car. And when I turned back around, this lady is backing up again and literally um, almost pinned me to my car. And mm-hmm. so, you know, when, when uh, you know, it's one of those things when you go through it. It's another thing when, uh, when, when somebody actually says, you got to watch the tape. Um, and so it just so happened that it was caught on video because we needed that information for processing and stuff. So um, I was watching the video, and I literally had to watch this lady hit me with her car. Um, And so, you know, going through all of that, um, it was just, that was like, it was a hard place. So going from that and going into my birthday, I was like, oh, my God, you know, God, I thank you. And then Mm -hmm. after that, uh, taking another step further and going into January, around January the 22nd, uh, was was the anniversary of of the day that God uh, uh, rescued me and pulled me out of that place called suicide. Um, right. and, and so from my birthday to that, and then of course on January the twenty seventh, my husband and I celebrated our um, sixth pastoral anniversary. And you know, for some people, they're like, "Oh, six years, you just a baby." But the things we dealt oh, they with, don't know. Um, <laughs> right? The things that we've gone through in six years. I mean, literally. Based on what we have experienced, um, you know, even the last year with the tornado and losing our building and the tornado and all of that, um, you know, even going through all of that, I mean, literally, people had looked at us and said, you should not, you should not, okay? You should not still have your church. You should have shut down. You should have just did something right. else. You should have, you know, right. but, but not still have your church. And so, you know, God has just done so much, and there's been, of course, so many, so much celebration going on. Uh, February the 1st, we celebrated uh, the anniversary of uh, the Legacy Ladies Fellowship, which is a women's organization that I had the honor of founding and birthing out uh, back in 2016. And so we went through that, um, and now we are preparing for When His Daughters Gather 2019, which is taking place March the 7th through the 9th here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, it is a gathering of women, um, um, a place of healing, a place of, of laughter, a place of peace, a place of, a place of joy. Um, we've had women who have come uh, with all types of, of, of ailments, and, and God has freed them. We've had women who have come uh, that were told they would never have babies. And, and the next thing you know, we're getting reports about them getting mm-hmm. pregnant and, and having on. children and things of that nature. And so I, I don't say this because of when his daughters gather that it happened. I say to God be all the glory and, and what an honor it is that God would use that as a place um, um, for his word to manifest in the lives of, of his women and the lives of his daughters. Um, and, and I really think, you know, it's that thing where we just really have to get into that understanding that, you know, God is more than just God. He's our daddy. You know, mm. and, and we are his daughters, and that's why we call it when his daughters gather. Um, my uh, mentor passed away roughly about three years, um, it'll be four years, I believe, this year, um, that she passed away, Shonet, missionary Shonet Brown. And, and one of the things that she did before she passed, she um, had cancer. One of the things that she did before she passed away, she hosted her very first and her last women's gathering, and it was called Restore the Joy. And so I waited and I waited and I waited. And, and um, God bless you, um, South Africa. And so, you know, it was an awesome thing, and it was a blessed thing when God finally released me to use that as the theme or as the focus for our women's gathering. So this year is When His Daughters Gather 2019, and our focus is Restore the Joy. Uh, we have so many amazing women of God that are coming um, to share Prophetess Sabella Crystal is coming um, from North Carolina. Uh, we also have um, uh, Evangelist Patrice Davis, who's also here in North Carolina. And then last but not least, and I mean, an amazing woman of God, um, none other uh, uh, than Apostle, Apostle Tyane Grace Bowfield. She'll be here as well on that Saturday. So we're going to have an amazing time. Of course, you guys are all invited. 
and um, I'm just I'm just thanking God. It's just been like you said. It's literally been like celebration after celebration after, after celebration. celebration. Yep. And, and, yep. and God has given me a word about that, but I'm not gonna go there unless you say we are into it. Well, I, I do want to talk about it because you know you made a few points. First of all, when you talked about what happened right before your birthday and the fact that when you came up on that 40th birthday, that it was, it was more of a seller. It was so much more uh, than just a birthday. It was truly a celebration of life. We've seen people put stuff like that up on their banners, you know, when they reach like 70 and 80 and 90 years old and things like that. But the truth of the matter is, is that the, the fact that we made it to whatever age we're making it to in this hour is a miracle in itself. And if you yes. just read back throughout biblical times and you watch the the digression, like the, you watch the age go down and go down and go down and go down. So it's not a surprise that the age limit that we're living to now is, is less and less. And when you find somebody that lives to 80 something, or you find somebody that lives to 90 something, you find somebody that lives to a hundred. Oh my God, you're in just high celebration yeah. because the, the, the age limit is going down so much. So for you to have a celebration of life, even after watching this lady back up on you a few times, and then, you know, for you to know what you went through last year, my God, my God, my God, <laughs> and you my know, God. you know, no, I do. <laughs> I do know, no, and, and, and I do, I, th- I spoke briefly about the fact that, you know, it was a, a season where I was, where I was encouraging you through a season, didn't even know the full story until God revealed it. And we didn't even know each other when God allowed you to share with me what was going on with you. And what actually, well, he allowed me to share some of it with you that I knew that he was telling me, but you begin to pour out and we've been like, we've been sisters ever since. So your, 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 that place that you were in, Come on, I, it doesn't matter yeah. whether people get it or don't get it. You know what I mean? Even when they think, when we talk about the six year anniversary, they weren't there. They weren't there yeah. last year when you know when we was praying through to make sure that y'all was going to hold up because the whole church was gone. Um, and this was almost not even long. It was it after or before our girl passed away. Uh, it was six days after Shima passed. So, you know, and, and she was a rock, right? She was so yeah. rock. She was like, you know, and, and, and you had just lost her, and then here goes this tornado, and then comes the church being torn down, and this is after you got uh, a bunch of people. You got actual witches and people coming around your church and walking around your church and, and, and speaking damnation over you guys, and, and they don't know the story, Brandy. So, they don't know. I, I mean, they, they, you know, I can talk about it, and I can celebrate it, and I can give voice to it because I'm telling you, even while even while I'm talking, I know the Holy Ghost. Listen, Jesus. oh God, whatever you're trying to do tonight, Jesus, whatever <laughs> you're trying to do tonight, I don't know who's listening. I'm telling you because I feel He's so I'm so stirred up to the point where I literally I, I am I am Bob Jerry, and I was like, listen, can you like play a certain worship song? Like, can you play a worship after my oh, intro? Because yeah. normally. I come on right after the intro, and I'm I'm, yeah. I'm laughing, I'm joyful, and all that. But I feel such a press in my spirit oh, this Lord. night that God is trying to break something. So when you give a testimony, my sister, yeah. and you say that, listen, me and my kids made it past a person ramming back into us multiple times. And when you talk about the fact that you made it through a uh, uh, wanting yeah. to kill yourself last year, and when you talk about the fact that your, your church was blown away, and y'all weren't in it, by the way, at the time when the tornado came and when you're talking about the stuff that you made it through it doesn't matter whether people get it or not Shonda Mosiah it doesn't matter that they get it it just matters that they get it do you understand what I'm saying yeah oh my god where you at Willet yeah (laughs) oh god is she, I'm she here, I'm here, I'm here. Listen, listen. Okay, so, you know, I did this, I think I did this last week, too, because whatever God is doing, it get to be so good to where, like, I don't want to cut you out because I need you to, you know, give voice to whatever you got to give voice to. Uh, mm-hmm. But tonight, I, I, I want Pastor Brandy uh, to, to talk more about this celebration, why yeah. it's so important to celebrate. And then I want you to feed off of what she's saying, and then y'all flow until we get ready to stop. It's just like that. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Well, let's, rock, let's roll. You know, yeah. and, you know, one of the things that, um, and, and this thing really got me, of course, um, prophets, you know, um, 
my my lead armor bearer. But you know what? My my lead armor bearer, she, uh, Elder Janelle Strickland, she, mm-hmm. her birthday was the 19th of January. And, you know, we my were God, preparing, my God. Um, you know, she was having a birthday party, and, and I was ready to go and celebrate her. And I'm going to tell you something. We got to that party and come to find out she along with my husband, uh, my, my, my daughter, my spiritual daughter, and armor bearer Dominique, and uh, Team Tisdale, and uh, Pat Galloway, and uh, Sotona, and Coach Cynthia. Do you know, and, and Letitia Nicole Beattie, do you know they got together and <laughs> what I thought was her birthday party, she turned into my birthday party? My Lord Jesus. And and it, so what, what people saw on Facebook, I guess they were thinking, like, well, you know, they had a birthday party for her and all of that. It was a surprise birthday party because I was right. there to celebrate her birthday party, but she was there to celebrate me. Now, now some, like, some people may be like, why would you even talk about that? Because you know what? I was looking at this thing, and I was laughing. You know, my husband, he's a, he's a Patriot fan, and, you know, I was sitting there looking at the comments and things from people. Um, not only when the Patriots won, but even before they won, um, and, and, they, and people were like, "Why do they have to go to the Super Bowl again? Why, why do they have to be the you know? Why do they have to go again? Something they cheated. Something happened to the ball. Like I mean, they making up all these different things about what could have happened and why uh, the Patriots didn't deserve to go to the Super Bowl again. And I said, God, ain't it something that the way the mind is is is, is put together? The mind is put together in such mm. a way where if you win too much, it's a problem. And if, Come you, on. if you win too little, you're cursed. Jesus. <laughs> I, I said it's, oh, God. I, 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 I can't understand. If, if, you know, if you're getting win after win after win, and, and it, it seems like that especially people have sat back and watched your process, but you know, maybe that's the problem that everybody's not privy to the process. See, people understand, you know, they know Tom Brady and they, 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 they see him playing and they see him throwing the ball, but they don't see the nights he had to sit down in, 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 big, uh, uh, in big barrels of ice. They don't see what the things he had to ice his, his, his body down in. They don't see um, the top mm-hmm. of his head. When, they don't see the tears. They don't see the blood, the sweat, or the tears. All they see is the fact that they are winning, and, and their response is, he wins too much. <laughs> but see, the thing about it is, when you go through enough hell, when 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 you have gone through the okay. blood, the sweat, and the tears, there comes a time, and there comes a I don't even want to say a time or even a season, but there's a lifestyle of celebration. Come on. And, and what people have to understand is that you know you you may see a person win after win after win after win, and you may be getting tired of watching them win and tired of them celebrating and tired of the anniversaries uh, and tired of the parties and tired of the good news and all of that. But if you understood, that person could have almost lost their mind. Matter of fact, maybe they did and got brought it back. See, see, if we only understood that that when people go through a place called trial and when people go through a place it's called tribulation, as the word of God says in Psalm 23, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Though do I go through these places, I sit down, and God is putting a table before me in the presence of my enemies, even though I'm going through, see, see, you watching my life, but you don't understand the process. You don't understand the blood mm. that had to be laid down for this week. Jesus. And so the thing about it is people will see you win and, and they'll see your filters on Facebook and they'll assume that you're okay. Everybody that has a filter don't mean they win. See, see, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's an aroma of win. You know, I, I know that sometimes, you know, people, when they, when they play football games, some people don't like to hug them like that because they say you smell like football. And, and if there's an aroma for when people play football and win, there has to be an aroma for a person that wins. My God, come on now, bro. Be, you know, there has to be a sweet-smelling savor. There has to be something that, that comes into the nostrils of God because guess what? Our God never loses. And even when people look at you and they try to say it's a loss, it's still not a loss. But it's a win, but you just don't see it yet. <laughs> see, when I went through the foreclosure and all that stuff years ago, I, you, you may have seen it as a loss, but you didn't know the win that was, that was connected to that. You know, Jesus. but the loss may have been what looked like the house, but the win was, God, you kept my mind in the process of losing everything. 
Come on, Holy Ghost. People may look and say, oh, my God, the, 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 the church came down in a tornado. And for you, you may have looked at that and called it a loss. But what you don't understand is that the wind on the other side of that is the fact that God not only sustained us, but while other churches that got hit closed their doors, the only question we had to answer is where are you going to move next? Yes, God. You know, when you think, when you start talking about Paul and, and, and the fact that, you know, even when he gets off the boat and everybody loves him and everybody celebrating him, everybody talking to him and they, oh, 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 we love you, we love you. Oh, you must be amazing. You must be awesome because even though your boat got messed up, you came in on broken pieces and, 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 and here you are building a fire. But, oh, oh, wait a minute, you good until the snake come out. Mm. <laughs> The snake come out. See, see, understand that celebration is temperamental. Celebration can be temperamental. Celebration can be that place where, you know what, we really could be celebrating each other all the time. I will bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is with me. I will bless his holy name. I will meditate on his word day and night. If you meditate on his word day and night, it seems like you would have joy all the time. Come on. It seems like you could be in a place called celebration all the time. I will bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Not in my flesh, but in my soul, I will bless him at all times. In other words, nothing will stop me. I will always be in a place called Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving (laughs) unto God will always be perpetual. And so the thing that we have to understand is that, you know what? Yes, uh uh-huh. Yeah, I had my 40th birthday. Yeah, it was wonderful. But guess what? The first 39 years, it was a place that God had to take me through the real, 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 real bad. My Lord. So when I turned 40, even though he was still showing me some things, he was still, he was sending prophets to tell me some stuff. And the stuff that he was telling me, I I was grateful that he sent the word, but I was crying because I knew the people that he was about to Come on. Who is Jesus? Because can I say it this way? God is causing those who have paid the price to go to enter into a lifestyle of celebration. And those yeah. who cannot celebrate you, he will remove them. Cool. Not put them on hold, not put them off to the side. He is removing them because guess what? When you cross over out of a cycle into the promised land, huh. you have no time and no room for doubters, naysayers, people that are going to look at you and say, well, how they get that? And they should have got that. And I wish they hadn't got that. And that should have been mine. He's removing those people. Jesus. He's removing those people that, that if you don't tell them every process of what you're about to do and all they should do is see, uh, see the end product, those people that get mad at that right there, instead of celebrating you, he's shifting them out of the way. And instead he's bringing those in your realm that, that, are, able, uh, uh, that are able to celebrate you even when they don't know all the details. See, see what I love about mm. my sister, Prophet Shalad, is that she may not know all the details, but she can feel where I am. Yeah, God. Mm-hmm. And so I never have to worry about when, when when God is giving her victory after victory after victory. I mean, literally every day that she breathes, I'm like, God, I bless you. And I celebrate her because I understand some of the places that she's been and the things that she's going through. I understand it and I get it. And so even though you may not every day, see, she can't tell you something because this is the thing. We, we get in our feelings a little bit. Jesus. We, we, we want those that are with us, we want them to say something on our Facebook every day. Can I tell you something? Everybody needs a good sniper in their camp. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> needs just a good sniper. They ain't always got to be seen, but you know they there. Okay, and, and so what ends up happening is people, when we get in our feelings, you, you want people to, to speak to you and say certain things to you to let you know they're there and they're with you. But can I say something? Some of the most powerful people that God has assigned to my life are people you never see comment on my Facebook page. My Jesus. But can I tell you something? When it go down, mm. they're going to show up. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> when yeah, Lord. They're going to show up. You know, Prosper, you before you, before you, before you go forward, I, listen. I told you, I told you, <laughs> I told you. Listen, listen. We feed, we feed, and oh my God, like it's just so. It, when you begin to talk about how good God is and what God is doing, you just don't. Mm. It's just my God, my God. I'm, I'm, not, I'm about to let Will let like, like, like shut us down, right? Because we got like oh, four minutes. But before, before, mm-hmm. before. 
It don't even seem like it's been 45 minutes. That's it has that's been. It has been. It's just, listen. So when, I'm going to say this, and then I'm about to let you just do you with that, right, till, till, till we end. Because you said something, and this is my prayer, right? This is one of, one, well, one of my mantras, one of the things that I go around just saying just because. When you said, I will bless the Lord, and you know, we said we love the worship, right? So yeah. when, you, when, we, when I begin to sing that, Right, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and it, I say it so much my kids can finish my sentence. I, I will bless the Lord, and then Armani, a Christian, will be like, oh my soul, like they just know because listen, your mind—that's the area of your thinker, your chooser, and your feeler. That's your mind. Your soul is the seat mm-hmm. of your emotions, and so if you can bless the Lord with your emotions, when you can yes. bless the Lord in the seat of your emo- with every choice you make, with every thought that you think, with every decision, if you can bless the Lord with that, come on, Mom, celebration what? is in order, joy is in order, so yeah. absolutely, listen, we could go on, we'll let, God, listen, listen, mm-hmm. listen, because she just, she just said something that made me think about you and make me want to get out this car and go ahead and get my shout for you, <laughs> because when she talks to God, yo, robo, shanda, basi, God, mm-hmm. when you, when you begin to talk about victory at the victory at the victory at the victory, what did you text me yesterday? Oh, did you not say to me, I'm waiting for the full manifestation of this testimony that I will be able to speak it out of my yeah. mouth? Y'all come on. I am. Oh, I am. I'm waiting oh, on it. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting oh, on it. And and I'm sitting here like a kid in a candy store just listening to Pastor Pastor Brandy. Um for me I'm I'm gonna share with some of my heart super quick. But celebrating, right? Why why is it so important to celebrate? Uh one of the things that the enemy attempts to do is that he attempts to block your your vision on your progression. And and for me, I know just in my walk, I all God always reminds me to remember where I've come from, right? Because what the enemy mm-hmm. attempts to do is that he attempts to um, have you look at the right now or what's before you or what's beside you or, or the challenges that are before you right now. But God is uh, wanting us to celebrate what we've already overcome, right? Yeah. Not only mm-hmm. in the lives of our brothers and our sisters, but in our own lives celebrating that you know what two years ago i'm not fighting the same giant that i was fighting two years ago right and so the enemy he wants us to to look at the situation as for what it is right now this battle this this thing this uh this uncircumcised philistine but it's not the same giant that you was fighting in 88 right so progression is so key for us to remember and celebrate celebrate the fact that look Yes, that was done. Yes, the house had to go. Yes, you lost the car. Yes, all of that was done. But guess what? Greater is coming. Guess what? All things work together for those who love God and are called according to his purpose and his will. So in that, we have to know that we are moving differently. We are handling things differently. And we need to celebrate that in the everyday life, that our everyday lives, that we're not the same. We're transforming. Day by day, we are transforming to the image of Jesus Christ. And that within itself is worthy to celebrate. It may not be, it may not be the mansion on the hill, right? Right away. It may not be the Bentley. It may not be those things that, that, that the world deems to be what we celebrate. But God is saying, celebrate those spiritual things. Celebrate those things that are eternal. Right. And so in it, that's what I wanted to share on my heart today, that we need to celebrate those things. And once we start celebrating those things, God will see, okay, she's ready. Okay. He's ready. And then, then, and then, and then, and then the law of blessing will come in. Uh, And so in it, I just wanted to share my heart on that is that celebrate those things that matter. Right. And, and don't get me wrong. Those things have their place, the cars, the houses. Right. I mean, it is what it is, but at this point in my life, I, I'm, I'm excited about the joy. I, I'm celebrating when I get up and I have joy in the morning. And I'm waking up with a smile on my face. And I'm telling Jesus, God, I love you. And and, 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 and thanking God that he kept me for yet another day. That is what I'm celebrating. That That is what I'm celebrating. And, and so in it, I just wanted to share that. That, um, you know, the celebrations, let them come. Know that the progression, look at the progression that by the grace of God, you you are not where you 
were, and let's celebrate that. Let's celebrate yeah. the eternal things. Amen. Man, y'all, listen, we, I, I, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm, it's going to be a little change next month. I ain't going to tell y'all yet, but God, it's got to, it's got to, it's got, yeah, something got to give, something got to give, because what, what God is doing tonight, what God has spoken tonight, what God wants to reveal to the people tonight, I'm telling you, those who are going to be listening to this in drive time traffic, those who are going to be listening to this in other countries, and they're going to be hearing, uh, you know, because we, we have superficial Sometimes we just have superficial things. We want um, so much of the superficial stuff that what you ladies have talked about tonight, if it did not ignite in somebody to be grateful for what they made it through, Jesus Christ, mm. I don't know what woo, what this call was supposed to do, what this show was supposed to do, but I'm telling you that you should be ignited within yourself that you made it over, that the the, the, the accident yes, didn't take you out, that the mad that the divorce didn't take you out, that the, the, the wayward kid didn't take you out, that the abuse mm-hmm. didn't take you out. My God, you should be celebrating. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Like, y'all, we got to go, but I need y'all to tell the people where they can get in touch with you guys before we get off the air, and, and, and I'm just going, you know, yeah, I, oh, God. T- share with the Amen. people where they can find you, Willa, and then Pastor yeah, Brandy. Y'all, um, you, Amen. Go ahead, honey. Yeah, y'all know where I'm at, JesusGirlBehavior.com. Uh, you can catch me online, and then also um, Facebook, JesusGirlBehavior.com. Amen. 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 Of course, uh, Facebook. Brandy O. Rojas, also Pastor Brandy O. Rojas, R-O-J-A-S. Um, you can also um, chime in to the Legacy Lady Fellowship, and I'm on there as well. Hey, Amen. And y'all can find me. This is, uh, man, listen, I didn't even introduce myself. The Holy Spirit did it. I am Prophetess <laughs> Yolanda, a.k.a. The Inspirational Treasure, for those of you who did not know. And you can find me on social media, Inspirational Treasure, without the I. And you can go to the website, theinspirationaltreasure.com, with the I. And go ahead and grab your free gift and just stay connected. We just thank God for this platform. Thank you, Jerry Roy, for loving me enough to just. You know, understand me tonight, but I pray that God will just continue to bless you, each and every one of you, and that he would get the glory out of your life like never before in this season. Mm-hmm. Good night, everybody. Great night. You're listening to Jerusalem Worldwide Podcast. Ooh.